at the interface of Europe and Asia, and at the interface of global changes in the world economy, recognized international experts, Nobel Prize winners, and country's leaders have got together again at the site of the 9th Astana Economic Forum in order to discuss the issues of further development of the Central Asian region, the problems of the international financial system, as well as the economic challenges facing each country and the ways of their further solution. The very basis of economic development is fundamentally changing. We are finally moving from the resource economy to the economy of knowledge and innovations. The theme of our forum is exactly about it. At the same time, the inner growth potential has not been formed in most developing countries. And that, in my opinion, is a fundamental challenge, damaging the long-term economic resilience at large. Oil dependence and the epoch of low prices, achievements of Kazakhstan, its investment attraction, new growth drivers, the European Economic Union and the new Silk Road as an infrastructural incentive. Clearly, each and every one of your countries has to look at diversification, has to look at a sustainable growth for each and every country. We have a few ideas, and I'm sure you all do. Clearly, one of the avenues would be to make sure that each and every entrepreneur, each and every man and woman, who want to develop activities, who want to participate in the economy, has the opportunity to do so. It should also favor the participation of foreign investors. So an economy that is more open, that is welcoming. Clearly as well, the region can play a central and critical role as a link between Europe and Asia whether it's a hub for logistics or services, whether it's a focus on light and green economy, whether it's the enhancement of agriculture to that effect, you will have lots of other ideas as well. Those are some of the ideas we have for the region. Astana as an international financial center, the formation and development, the experience of developed countries, the key stakeholders of the world economic system, the end of the unipolar world in view of macroeconomic and geopolitical changes. I would say the world has changed. Whether you like it or don't like it, in the past 20 years, internet changed the world. Next to 30 years, you like it or you don't like it, internet has changed the world even more. There are about 1.8 billion people who were born after 1980s. They were the generation called Internet Generation. They want new things. Internet has changed, made great contribution to the world, but also caused a lot of uncomfortableness. And people have, whether you like it or don't like, we have to learn to embrace the things we don't like. We have to embrace the change. Globalization, in the past 20 years, Globalization, WTO, did a wonderful job. But a lot of people don't like it because small guys do not benefit. Developing nations did not take enough advantage of that. Heated discussions and disputes in chambers. Discussion on the sidelines and at work sessions. The final declaration as talking points. And the action program for the G20. The 9th Astana Economic Forum the new economic reality, diversification, innovations, and the knowledge-based economy.